Hey guys, Quiff the Lazy Geek here, and today is going to be a quick video about the new version of PixInsight, which is 1.8.8-6 Ripley. And this new version, like one of the bigger changes that I've seen, uh, that people have been mentioning, is the inclusion, finally, of Starnet++ within the official PixInsight distribution. So, if you don't know what Starnet++ is, it's basically a way that you can get starless images. Um, you might have seen on Facebook that kind of stuff, images of nebula without any stars, and that's typically using Starnet++ to remove those stars. And Starnet++ is actually using machine learning um, to remove the stars like intelligently and it's been actually trained on a database of uh, star pictures with stars and without stars so more more or less nebula picture with stars and without stars to tr to try and remove those stars in the same way that a human would do it so it's quite powerful and it's finally in pixin sight now how do you get it set up and also, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, how do you get it accelerated? Because if you have an NVIDIA graphical um, processor, um, or just a graphics card from NVIDIA, that's fairly recent in that it supports uh, CUDA 3, I don't remember the exact version, but it has to be a, a fairly recent um, uh, NVIDIA card, then you'll want to, um, uh, to try to make it faster. If you've had it faster in a previous version of PixInsight already, then that will not work anymore. So you'll have to start from scratch and I'll do that today. So let's look at the computer. You can see we have this, uh, when you launch PixInsight, you may have this new version of PixInsight released, 1.8.8-6 Ripley. <sighs> I need to catch my breath. And uh, so I'm just gonna, um, I'm, th I'm not gonna care about that. I'm gonna um, uh, close PixInsight and we're just going to download the latest version of PixInsight from the website. And here we are just getting the latest one for Windows. And what I also need to do is uh, uninstall the old version of PixInsight. So I'll do that while it is downloading. So I'll just remove the old version of PixInsight. At least that's what I needed to do on my other computer. So that's what I'll, uh, I'll do here as well. And I'll also, if, I, if you've already installed the NVIDIA uh, CUDA stuff to get faster Starnet++ in the previous version of PixInsight, you'll want to, well, you don't have to, but I prefer to uninstall it because we'll be using uh, CUDA uh, 10.1 rather than 10.0 for this particular version of Starnet that is with uh, PixInsight. So I'll be removing both and then we're going to go into our downloads folder and uh, install PixInsight from scratch. Okay, PixInsight. Um, okay, PixInsight has been installed. So we're going to uh, launch uh, PixInsight. It will run through its updates. It might uh, download a few patches, that kind of stuff. Um, that way, it will be initialized. Everything's going to be there, and then we can work on getting Starnet Plus Plus working and accelerated. So I'm just going. to, Yeah, we have six PixInsight updates from me. So there's tons of little stuff, including updates for the Starnet uh, neural network. So you want to make sure you run this update uh, program first thing. So that's why I prefer launching PixInsight first. If you didn't see it, you'll want uh, to go to resources and check for updates. I'm going to apply and we're going to wait until this is done. Okay, just as usual, I'm just going to close PixInsight. I'm going to make it reinstall the updates and restart itself just so that we have everything ready for the next steps. Okay, we're good. So I'm going to now close PixInsight and what we're going to do, well, first is if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, what you'll want to do if you want to use Starnet++ is find uh, under all processes the uh, Starnet process, which has a very neat new icon now. So we can open that and you see that it has it is missing some weights files. I'm not sure why they're not set um, by default, but you will want to actually click on that little wrench icon to get this where you can set your uh, weight files. And when you click on that, you'll actually have to go through uh, to program files, uh, picks and sites, and I believe library and there you have the weights. So I'll be able to set um, RGB weights and I'll be able to set monochrome weights. And once that's done, we can use uh, the weights as is. So now we have it ready. So if I were to open up a nebula picture like this one, we could um, just like, you know, drag and drop and it's gonna uh, remove the stars from there. You also have the checkbox that creates a star mask, in which case it will both remove the stars from the main image and at the same time create a new star mask. 
Okay, and here we are. We have removed the stars. It doesn't look very good on this particular nebula because it's a planetary nebula, but it's kind of fun to see the Dumbbell Nebula without its central star. It's a lie. Yeah, it's a bit weird. But, you know, that's what uh, Starnet++ does. And we can see, and this is uh, important because we're going to reuse this image. It took 28.5 seconds to do that on my computer. Uh, this is much superior, by the way, not in terms of time. But what's very, very nice about the fact that this process is within PixInsight is that you actually get a progress indicator in PixInsight. It's much well, much better integrated. You know what's happening, um, which I think I think is great. You didn't have really a, pro a progress kind of indicator in the last one. Okay, so we have um, Starnet working. Now, how do we accelerate Starnet? First things first, we're going to close PixInsight. And now we're going to follow the updated instructions from the amazing Dark Arkans uh, blog for a Dark Skies Astrophotography. I'll be putting the link in the description down below so you can actually follow along. And you see, we need to download three things. We need to download the network package for CUDA install. We need to, da to download the TensorFlow GPU package, which is basically a list of libraries for um, accelerated kind of machine learning based programs. And we want to download the CUDNN versus 7.6.5 for CUDA 10.1. And for that, you actually need a login on the uh, NVIDIA developer portal. It will ask you to log in. It's free to create an account, but you do need an account, which is what I did. Um, so let me download that as well. Okay, and it's currently in progress. So what we're going to do is we're just going to follow those steps. First, replace tensorflow.dll. So I'm going to go into my downloads. We are going to um, extract this uh, particular part package. And under lib here, we're going to take tensorflow. I'm going to do control C. I'm going to open another window from which I will go inside the program files, uh, PixInsight. And was it bin folder, I think? Yes, bin folder. And we're going to paste that TensorFlow. It will replace the existing file in PixInsight. You may want to make a copy of the old file first, just in case, um, especially if you do not have an NVIDIA GPU that, that works properly. But I think it works even if you don't, do not have a GPU. I'm going to give um, uh, approval, uh, admin approval to copy that. And that's the first step. The second step is to, is to install CUDA. So um, Dark actually provided the link to the uh, network installer of CUDA, which is much better than what I did in my last video about this, because you only need to download the one little part that we need. So I'm running the installer and the installer will check that I have a valid graphics card. If you do not have a valid graphics card, for CUDA, but not for Starnet++. It's kind of like different, different parameters. You'll get a failure at this point. Make sure, by the way, uh, that you have your official NVIDIA, latest NVIDIA drivers installed on your system, not the Windows provided default ones. You want to download the graphics drivers from NVIDIA directly. Uh, that's important. I've seen people who had trouble when not using those drivers. Okay, the pre-check is done. We're going to agree. We're going to go into custom installation. And in here, we're going to uncheck everything for now. And under CUDA, we're going to go want to click on runtime libraries. And this is the only thing that we are going to install. And we're going to click next. Uh, and it's going to download the uh, packages and install them. So let's wait for that to be over. And the installation is done. So I'm just going to close this. We should gain, be getting very close to readiness. And the next step is to install uh, QDNN. And so for that, we just need to go inside the downloads. And that last package that required a, an account on the developer NVIDIA website, we're going to unpack it. And uh, this is a thing where I'm not completely sure. I think we only need uh, the bin folder, but apparently we need both. In the text, we have only the bin folder. In the screenshot, we have both bin and lib. So I'm just going to take both out of an abundance of caution. So we're going to go into the zip file that we just unpack unpacked. I'm going to copy Control C this bin and lib folder. And we're going to go inside um, Program Files, NVIDIA Corporation. And wait a second. Sorry, not NVIDIA Corporation, but NVIDIA GPU something. Program files, NVIDIA GPU Computing Kit, CUDA, 
10.1, which is the version required by this particular um, instance. And then in this folder, we're going to paste both um, folders that I just did control C on. And we're going to overwrite everything. And now we have everything ready. We still need to do one more step, which is editing the environment variables. For that, I press the Windows button. I search for the word environment and you'll be able to see edit the environment variables here. You click on that and at the bottom you'll have environment variables. And if you want to install it for all your users, you'll need to do those tasks at the bottom here. But for me, I'll just be um, setting this in the uh, user variables. And we're going to follow the steps. And the first step is to have this you will already have if you've done the steps for the previous version of PixInsight with the standard plus plus module. But uh, you know, I'm just going to show you you have to create a new variable with this name and you'll set the value to true. Okay, and then you want to check the path. And in the path from my previous installation of uh, Starnet++ and uh, GPU acceleration, I had this particular folder in there. I'm going to remove it because it's no longer relevant to me. We're going to click on new browse um, and I want to go into uh, the C drive program files. Uh, I believe it is NVIDIA GPU blah blah blah. Yes, NVIDIA GPU computing kit and 10.1 bin. This is what we want and this is what I've added. We're going to validate that. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to press OK and we should have everything working fine. I'm going to open the Windows Task Manager by right clicking on the task bar and going to Task Manager. We're going to check uh, performance and I'm going to check whether under my GPU I have a CUDA line. I do. Some cards apparently don't show it. And it might, it's not a big deal, um, in which case when you try to run Starnet++, you want to make sure that CPU is not being used, but GPU is being used. For me, since I have this CUDA kind of line here, I'll be able to see the CUDA usage uh, go up here. Now let's reopen PixInsight. And I'm going to reopen the M27 picture that we had a moment ago. Okay, here it is. And I am going to open again the Starnet++ process to see whether everything is uh, working uh, fine. So we're going to go in there. The weights are still there and we're just going to drag and drop and see what happens. While we are dragging and dropping, I want to make sure that the CUDA GPU thingy will be going up very soon. We'll see if that is really the case. Yes, we can see CUDA is going up. The percentages are OK, it's done. That was a bit too fast. Um, yeah, and it took 13 seconds, so less than half. And actually, there is a bit of an overhead at the start, you see, before the GPU is being used. If you have larger images, the uh, performance difference between CPU and GPU just grows a bit larger because of that uh, overhead. So you get um, much better performance from the GPU. And that's it. So now you know how to, um, you know, once you've installed PixInsight 1.8.8-6 Ripley, you can then get started to work uh, using the weights. And then you can um, actually, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, accelerate Starnet. So I hope this little uh, impromptu video, like a kind of newsflash video, was useful to you. If it was useful, if you like astrophotography, astronomy, etc. in general, uh, and you are not subscribed to this channel, welcome to the channel. Feel free to go down below and click on that subscribe button if you feel like it. There's a little notification bell that you can click and sting next to it to actually get notification about my, my new videos if you are really interested in my videos. Otherwise, you know, feel free to go down below, click on the like button, leave any comment about what you have, uh, suggestions, ideas, problems, issues, um, you know, life questions, what is the meaning of life and the universe, that kind of stuff, it's down below. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Whenever you can, don't forget to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.